The words from the cross chaplet. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, sits at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. An Act of Faith O my God, I firmly believe that you are one God in three divine persons, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. I believe that your divine Son became man and died for our sins, and that he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe these and all the truths which the Holy Catholic Church teaches, because you revealed them, who can neither deceive nor be deceived. An Act of Hope O my God, relying on your infinite goodness and promises, I hope to obtain pardon of my sins, the help of your grace, and life everlasting through the merits of Jesus Christ, my Lord and Redeemer. An Act of Love O my God, I love you above all things, with my whole heart and soul, because you are all good and worthy of all love. I love my neighbor as myself for the love of you. I forgive all who have injured me, and I ask pardon of all whom I have injured. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, have mercy on me, a sinner. The First Mystery Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. These words of yours, O Lord, are a two-edged sword. They cut both ways. They console me because I know myself as being as guilty as those who nailed you to the cross. Speak these words of forgiveness over me as well. But at the same time, these words fill me with dread. I understand that in your example, I must pardon those persons who have harmed me, toward whom I nurse a powerful grudge. The imitation of Christ to which I am pledged is excruciatingly hard. I count on the strength of your example to serve me and to be able to say and mean those words, Father, forgive them. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The second mystery. Amen, I say to thee, this day thou shalt be with me in paradise. All I can think of in reading your words, O Lord, is the magnanimous return the good thief returns for his gentle kindness to you. He has spoken the only gracious words to reach your ears on that fateful day, when he said that you weren't deserving of this punishment, for you had done no evil. But what a massive reward he receives for these few words heaven in return for a simple act of kindness. I hope that all the words I speak during prayer will bring down a similar avalanche of divine mercy onto me. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Third Mystery Woman, Behold Thy Son, Behold Thy Mother These desperate-sounding words first appear to be a guarantee for the well-being of your mother. It is not, but rather it is a gift, the gift of Mary as mother to care for me, to guide me, to love me, and to intercede for me. You give me a rare gift indeed, a presence in my life to make my heart gentle and my world beautiful. There are no limits to your generosity, giving me your mother. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Fourth Mystery My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? These words are not words of despair, but words of trust taken from the opening of Psalm 22. Our ancestors trusted in the Father and he delivered them. To him they cried out and were saved. In your darkest hour you placed your trust in the Father, and by doing so you show me to place my trust in you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Fifth Mystery I Thirst It is an irony that you who quench the thirst in people searching for the truth and divine wisdom should in your darkest hour experience thirst. Considering your loss of blood from the scourging and the noonday sun as you made your way up to Calvary, your thirst must have been monstrous, but you endured patiently and lovingly for me. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The sixth mystery, it is finished. At first, these words could seem to be desperate, sad, and empty of hope. On second look, they appear to be those of encouragement. It is finished, that is to say, that you have reached your goal, your task is completed. There is a sense of fulfillment and even triumph in what you say. Your task in bringing the good word was completed, as was the task of dying for our sins. I hope that in my time I will be able to say in full honesty, it is finished, my task complete. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Seventh Mystery Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. In these words, you give me the formula for achieving peace and strength. You died commending your spirit to the Father. What would make more sense than at any critical moment to put myself in God's hands? Just as Stephen died commending his spirit to you, I will place my life securely in your hands for safekeeping. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.